Hi, my name is Katie. Today we're going to have a practi practice exam of our speaking test. Uh, the goal of our lesson in this speaking test is to stimulate uh, the outs practice. And uh, right now we're going to start and I want to talk about the weather. What kind of weather you live? Um, we have seasonal changes. We are currently living in an extremely hot weather, um, which is the summertime, which started in December um, up until February. Um, we're living in a very hot weather in this side, and it's barely you see people outside um, going out because of hot weather. Okay. Do you like this kind of weather? Uh, for me, it's a big no. Um, I really enjoy winter time. Because in winter time, you can adjust yourself. If it's very cold, you can wear warm clothes. Whereas when it's uh, sunny and it's very hot outside, it's very difficult. At some point, it's very um, unfairly to, to, to the skin and to the health condition of other people. For example, I myself have bleed a lot, nose bleed a lot, and it's hot. So I really enjoy winter, not this summer. Okay, thank you. I'm, I'm also writing your marks later. I will be sharing to you some kind of uh, expression that you will be using later. Thank you very much. And um, have you ever seen a snow? Yes, um, but it was over a decade now. Um, I haven't seen one. I uh, only see it on the TVs when I'm watching news. Maybe they're presenting it overseas. But currently, um, where I'm staying, we haven't have a, we haven't had a snow yet. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'd like to move on the topic of cash. Do you normally pay by card or by cash? I prefer to pay with card. Um, I barely have uh, cash on me. I always carry my card. Even if I leave my card, I can use my smartphone to pay. Thank you. And uh, have you ever find money on the ground? Yes, um, as we're speaking now, I, I, I can see one and I usually leave the coins hanging around and when I'm doing the cleaning, cleaning, I will find the coins hanging around on the floor. Why is that? Why, why don't you pick all of those coins? Um, with, with, with coins, because I know it's a personal space. I don't usually bother that much to to pick up every coin that I lose. I'm just continue. Then I know that I'll find it when I'm cleaning because it's only me using this room, nobody else. Oh, I see. Thank you. And have you ever lost money? I recently lost a huge amount of money. Um, it was through the bank. It was the bank era where they used my money and they allowed the debit order to go through uh, without the processing, without even asking me if I acknowledge the company that wants to take the money. So it was a long process that I had to fight for, but eventually I got the money back and then I was able to change the bank. Okay, thank you. Very good. Next, do you like courses? Um, horses. Yes. Um, I I like to see them from afar. Um, I wouldn't own one. I'm not much of a friendly, uh, pet lover or something, um, I love them from afar. Okay. Have you ever ridden a horse? 
Nope, I haven't ridden a horse. Um, but I've seen people um riding horses, and um, I would go and watch um horse racing, and for me, it's a no. I haven't ridden any horses. Oh, I see. And uh, would you like to ride a horse in the future? Ah, uh, definitely yes. It looks so fun, and people that are doing it are enjoying it. And I would definitely love to. And there's a place um in where I'm staying where you can go and book to ride a horse. So I was planning to do that as an adventure. Okay, thank you very much. Now I have a um uh, recommendation to you with part number one. Yeah, up. Until February, that is a good one because you have say so. That is uh, another expression that you have used. Hot weather, why not rephrasing these expressions? Hot weather, like boiling outside. Since you already used hot weather, extremely hot, so you can use it to another topics about hot weather to paraphrase the expression like boiling outside. It's boiling outside. And when you feel the water is super hot you can say it's scalding yeah it like instead of saying unfriendly unfriendly that da, 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 you have to say something but i just changed it into scalding yeah scalding it means that when we step up any kinds of watery on the ground or when we are sipping a cup of coffee and it's scalded us and uh, only see it on TV. Try to use I've seen. Uh, I've only seen this on television. Or I've only seen this on TV. Yeah. And then uh, pet lover is a plus point because it's a good expression. And I also want, would like you to use like uh, to give a little signal to the examiner. Like uh, using little filler. Like so yeah. Yeah. You know, you're and you're going to discuss something, and that this is I've never ridden a horse before, but uh, somehow if I ever got a chance, I probably do it. So yeah, and then it means it's a signal, like yeah, uh, I I guess this is good good expression, not that expression. It's just like a feelers to improvise mm -hmm. our speaking. So we will be having a signal. Does it make sense? It's okay? Yes, it does. Uh, yes. Only that, but uh, everything's okay. Now let's go to part number two. Part number two, I will be sharing you my screen. Uh, so this is my screen. You'll be talking about, uh, about this. Hold on. Yes. You have one minute to prepare in this Part two, the proctor we're going to ask you to prepare for one minute and speak about one to two minutes. Uh, do not be surprised if the proctor stop you if you have over time for one to two minutes. Okay, so your your time of preparation begin now. I'm ready. Okay. Yes, please. Um, we this festive we recently had an event. It's a big event. Uh, in my city, we call it a light, colorful, party city. Um, it's in Cape Town. It involves um a lot of people, variety of people from different cultures, different races. This is the one um, event where it actually unites everybody. And on that party, you can literally meet someone standing next to you. You have no idea who's this person to, but the way we we so connected with those people, it actually shows and give us the courage and it give us hope 
that eventually there's a change in our country and people are getting along. Um, it actually happens once a year. With that being said, we, we they bring celebrities to perform to us. So it's it's very exciting because you can see everyone is in joyful mood because you wouldn't go there if you wouldn't be having fun because that's a place where people have fun. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, uh, for speaking part number two, instead of saying it's very excited, no, we use it's very exciting. Yeah, it's very exciting. Use ing. And then, um, yes, you can also use it's. It was very exciting, and we feel so ecstatic with my friends. Yeah, you can add the word ecstatic in your. It means that you are very happy. Uh, excited, excited. Of course, this place is very exciting. If you use it's very exciting. And all of my friends are feeling so ecstatic because, or you don't need to say because, like cause, because cause it's much even, yeah, natural. Because our goal is to be much even natural speaking. Uh, okay. okay, thank you. Next, let's go to part number three. Part number three, where's my notebook? I'm going to be asking you about some events. What types of events do children get excited about? Um, we have a mini Disneyland um, in the country where children go and see um, statues. They go and see uh, people wearing costumes um, representing certain characters like Spider-Man is an example, uh, uh, Superman. So they really get excited to see those. Um, they feel like, for them, they always feel like it's real, whereas it's something that is just presented to them to excite them. So these are the kinds of events for the children on my side that they get excited to go to. Okay, all right. Some superheroes. Or you can also even mention some Marvels, you know. Uh, so on what occasion do people feel both nervous and excited um it's 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 during the interview you know when you've been applying for a job and then they call you for an interview there's always that excitement that you'll get the job but at the same time you become nervous that what if i don't do well on this um interview that means i won't get this job so being called on an interview excites you, but at the same time, preparing for the interview makes you feel anxious. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What advice would you give to people if they were nervous about something? It's always practice, 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 as you have said it in the previous um in our previous talks that whenever you want something you need to practice practice to yourself go to the mirror talk to yourself through the mirror then you practice you plan um it actually reduces the anxiousness and when you get there you will feel more freely to speak and to do something Okay, thank you. Yes, in part number three, what I have found out is that you have a uh, short answers, like uh, two or three sentences. Because the part number three, keep in mind that this is a little like discussion. So they would like the the proctor or the examiner would like to hear you speaking more, so they can uh evaluate you as they called uh, more. So if you have some stories to tell, like, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, somewhat that you have experienced in the past or uh, other people's experience, you can retell in that. Uh, okay, so increase your part number three answers. 
because it's very, very short. While in fact, in the part number one is, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, just tell me if you have already done. Use the filler. So yeah, like that. I guess it's also a, a plus because, you, you know, can you say that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you answer, give signal and yeah. These things. Anyway, I'm I'm going to cut off our recording right now and we'll be